The third presidential candidate of LPP is Dr. S. Nanado Adodanka Kufwadu. Nana Free SHS. Nana Free SHS. Nana Free SHS. President Kufu is Kufu Free National Health Insurance. Kufu National Health Insurance. Kufu Capitation Grant. Kufu Free Maternal Care. Kufu Leap. Nanado came and said, Nanado Free SHS. Now listen. Do you hear teenage pregnancy again? Do you hear teenage pregnancy again? Every lady is in a school. Every lady is where? In a school. Every girl child is where? In a school. And when they finish, they go to nursing training. They go to teacher training. They go to university. They don't have time for childbirth. They don't have time for teenage pregnancy. They are all being educated. And that was, that was Nana Dodanka Kufuado and Dr. Mamudu Pawombia. We haven't finished you. We haven't finished. We are just about to start. We are just about to die. We are just about to start. We are just about to Oh, take your time, take your time, take your time, take your time. Yeah. If you are a Muslim, if you are a Muslim, and I don't know like Uganda, there are a lot of Muslims, right? If you are a Muslim and you vote for NDC, it is haram. I said, if you are a Muslim and you vote to NDC, it is haram. Why am I saying that? Listen, 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 listen. This is not only politics, only. this is education. When President Kufo came, the first president in the history of Ghana to say all teachers in Makrelta should get allowance was President Atekum Kufo. His running mate was a Muslim called Aliwu Mahama. When President Mills and President Mahama came, they cancelled that. When LPP came again, and Anana Dodankwa Ekufuan and Dr. Maudu Pahuna. The first thing they did, the first thing they did was to do Zongo Development Fund. Was to do what? Zongo Development Fund. You know those who live in Zongo mostly, and you are a Goja. What you have here is better than what is in Rome and Athens. Because the Laribanga Mosque is not breaking down. It is moving from strength to strength. People will love to come and look at the centuries old building, like the Colosseum of Rome that is falling apart. Right? So if you are a young person here and you want a future for yourself, you want people to recognize where you come, and you come from Laribanga, God has already blessed you. You need the right leader. You need the right leader to make Naribanga and Damango what it should become. And that leader is nobody by Abuji Lapo and Dr. Mahamadu Bahamadu. It is possible. What did I say? It is possible. What did I say? It is possible. You see, once upon a time, once upon a time, once upon a time, God visited Ghana. God visited Ghana. And when he came, we were just about to do multi party democracy. And when God came, he established a party called NP. But when God established MPP, he didn't know with MPP, he's called it Nyamena Party Papa. Nyamena Party Papa. Nyamena Party Papa. You see, God lives in the spirit. And so when he established it, he had to meet with somebody. You know who God left it with? He left it with the kings of Ghana. He left it with the kings 
of Ghana. He levels with Nananum of Ghana. So the party became Nananuma Party Papa. Nananum Party Papa. I said, who? Nananum Party Papa. 50 years ago, Nananum had formed a party in Northern Ghana. And they called it Northern People's Party. What did they call it? Yes, I've traveled to so many countries. They don't have what you have in Yaibanga that you have in many districts. But the people visit those and they make billions of dollars out of it for visiting. So if you have an enlightened member of parliament like Abuchinapo, and he has a senior brother but your Boko brother at the presidency. Laibanga will be the first stop for visitors. Just, just, just to come and have a look at the Laibanga Mosque. Right? When you mention Laibanga, it was on the currency gold 50 cities some time back. I don't know now. But the 50 cities, 50 cities, that NBC and Rollins collected from Ghanaians and never brought it back. There was the Laibanga Mosque of the 50 cities. So you see, if you are in Laibanga and you want to know the party that loves you, it's not a party that took your symbol from the 50 cities. It's the party that will restore Laibanga in the right place of Ghana. And that is a party of Abu Jinapo. You see, the symbol of LPP is Osuno, right? The symbol of Ghana is Osuno. And the symbol of every forest reserve, and we have come and go forest reserve, don't we? The animal that is in the reserve, that preserves the reserve, is the elephant. Why? Do you have chinea in the in the hospital? Do you have people coming to jump to come and look at the chinea? Yeah. But people will travel to come to Damango Reserve to come and look at the elephant. Yeah. So when you have your forest reserve and when you have your Laibanga Mosque, it will be the number one tourist destination of the country. You know like yeah. live, Nandong now, those are the people who form the Northern People's Party. God visited them 50 years later and brought them the new patriotic party. Right? Nananuma party. Papa. So when NDC saw it, he said, Nananum should not do politics. Right? So Nananum don't do politics. So Nananum had to look for people, Ghanaians, to leave the party for them to work. So Nananum went around the country and gave, look for the Papa Papa you understand? The good people of Ghana. The Papa pa Four. So the party became not the Nano Papa Four Party. The Papa pa Four Party. Papa. What do I say? The Papa pa Four Party. Papa. So in Damago, the Papa pa pa Four in Damago is NPP. I put the poor and go. Right? Don't take it. Don't take it lightly. Don't take it lightly. The Laibanga Mosque is Muslims that worship there, right? When we were forming the party 50 years ago, we called it United Party. The United Party was a Northern People's Party, the Muslim Action Party, because all the Muslims in Ghana supported United Party. So the people who were in charge of Laibanga Mosque formed NPP. The people in Ashanti came with NLM. The people in the coast came with the Gamashiri party. The Amunas and the North came with their party. The Muslims came with their party. The only party in Ghana where all Muslims ran to was the United Party. It is the United Party that has given birth to new patriotic party. Don't believe me. Don't believe me. Listen. Listen. 
the first presidential candidate of MPP was a Dubois. Yeah. Yeah. The first in the first candidate. And the Zoko Development Fund started taking astrotech, schools, mosques. Dr. Bowyer himself has rehabilitated 21 mosques. <laughs> but listen to the history of Ghana. The only political party, the only political party that broke down mosques, that broke down mosques, broke down the number one mosque in Accra is NDC. When they broke down the mosque in Accra, they called it Rolling Spot. When they broke down the mosque in Kofoidia, they used it as a dubbish park. That is NDC for you. NDC, they don't like Muslims. They only use Muslims for vote. Listen, I said what? They only use Muslims. They only use Muslims. One president before built the Jubilee House for all presidents. And President Mills and Muhammad Kim. They said Jubilee House is near Nima. So they won't live there. It's in Nima, Zongo people, right? For eight years, they never lived in Jubilee House because Jubilee House was near Zongo. And Zongo is Muslim. Meanwhile, they vote highest for NDC. That is why I say if you are a, a Muslim and you take your pan and you go and vote, instead of Samuel Abuchi and Dr. Mahmoud Mahmoud, you make a mistake and you vote for NDC, it is haram. Wait, 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 I haven't finished. I just started. Why do you want me to stop? Do you want me to stop? Do you want me to stop? Now listen, listen. Listen, listen. Recently, recently, there were two Muslims who were the leaders of N to employ more nurses. NDC says no. More teachers, no. More police officers, no. More prison officers, no. More immigration officers, no. More customs officers. No. Everything NDC says no. NDC doesn't want anybody to be employed in Ghana. Right. Would you vote for such a party? Yeah. Would you vote for such a party? Yeah. Would you vote for such a party? Yeah. So I'm telling you today, the only party that can guarantee your future, that can make sure that nursing training allowance happens, that can make sure teacher training allowance, that can make sure that when you finish nursing training school, you get what to do. Now, now do and Dr. Baumia are building a hundred and eleven hospitals. Listen, hundred and eleven hospitals. They are going to employ seventy-two thousand nurses. Seventy-two thousand nurses. Ninety percent of those are going to be girls, right? Who likes girls? Who likes the future of girls? MPP or NDC? MPP. MPP or NDC? MPP. I haven't finished. Yet. Or you are tired? No. Or you want to go home? No. Or you want to go home? No. Uh, in Parliament now, it's a loan from World Bank for $250 million. Do you know why we are going to use it? We are going to use it to build more hospitals, more schools, more roads, more telecommunication centers, more electricity. So that no village in Damango will be without electricity. No village in Damango will be without water. No village in Damango will be without a cheap combat. NDC says no. And to Jerry, he said, I've cancelled all the allowance. If you don't have money, don't go to nursing Jerry. If you don't have money, don't go to Chicha Jerry. Then he said, even you Muslims, eh, what I'm going to do for you when you vote for me is to put Mochiri Mochiri in Zongo Zongo. Go yeah. and check NDC Manifesto 2020. He said he's going to provide a Mochiri for every Zongo. Uh, are you a Muslim? Do Muslims like dead bodies? Do Muslims want dead bodies? So why are you going to put a Mochiri in a Zongo? Because he doesn't like Muslims.
That is why I say, if you're a Muslim and you take your template and you vote go to Dr. Mahmoud Bahawiya or Abu Chiyapo and you make a mistake, it is what? It is what? When Dr. Mahmoud comes there and says, I am Zoo, say, I am Zoo, I am Zoo, I am Zoo, I am Zoo. He only wants the power for himself. He doesn't want the power to share. He doesn't want your development. He doesn't want your well-being. He doesn't think about you. No matter the sweet words he says. When he was the president, he gave a Muslim a pain. When he was the president, he gave Zogos a mochery. Do you want a mochery or you want a hospital? Do you want a mochery or you want a hospital? Do you want a mochery or a hospital? I can't hear you. Much in the hospital. Uh, we haven't seen it. Nandom now. Those are the people who form the Northern People's Party. God visited them 50 years later and brought them the new patriotic party. Right? Nananoma Party. Papa. So why NDC saw it? He said, Nananom should not do politics. Right? So Nananum don't do politics. So Nananum had to look for people, Ghanaians, to leave the party for them to work. So Nananum went around the country and gave, look for Nipapapafu. You understand? The good people of Ghana. Nipapapafu. So the party became not Nananum Papa for party. Nipapapafu party. Papa. What do I say? Nipapapafu party. Papa. So in Damago, the Nipa Papa 4 in Damago is NPP. Now put your paw and go. Right? Don't take it, don't take it lightly. Don't take it lightly. Then I abandon boss. It's Muslims that worship there, right? When we were forming the party 50 years ago, we called it United Party. The United Party was the Northern People's Party, the Muslim Action Party, because all the Muslims in Ghana supported United Party. So the people who were in charge of La Ibangamwa formed NPP. The people in Ashanti came with NLM. The people in the coast came with the Gamashini Party. The Amunas and the North came with their party. The Muslims came with their party. The only party in Ghana where all Muslims ran to was the United Party. It is the United Party that has given birth to new patriotic party. Don't believe me. Don't believe me. Listen. Listen. The first presidential candidate of MPP was a Dubai. The third presidential candidate of MPP is Dr. S. Nanato Adodanka and Kufuadu. Nana Free SHS. Nana Free SHS. Nana Free SHS. President Kufuadu is Kufuadu Free National Health Insurance. Kufuadu National Health Insurance. Kufuadu Capitation Grant. Kufuadu Free maternal care. Kufwa leap. Nanado came and said, Nanado free S H S. Now listen. Do you hear teenage pregnancy again? Do you hear teenage pregnancy again? Every lady is in a school. Every lady is where in a school. Every girl child is where in a school. And when they finish. They go to nursing training. They go to teacher training. They go to university. They don't have time for childbirth. They don't have time for teenage pregnancy. They are all being educated. And that was, that was Nana Dodanka Kufuado and Dr. Mamudu Paumia. We haven't finished. You. We haven't finished. We are just about to start. We are just about to die. We are just about to start. We are just about to uh, take your time, take your time, take your time, take your time. Uh, if you are a Muslim, 
if you are a Muslim, and I don't know like Uganda, there are a lot of Muslims, right? If you are a Muslim and you vote for NDC, it is haram. I said, if you are a Muslim and you vote to NDC, it is haram. Why am I saying that? Listen, 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 listen. This is not only politics only. This is education. When President Kufo came, the first president in the history of Ghana to say all teachers in Makrelta should get allowance was President Atekum Kufo. His relative was a Muslim called Aliwu Mahama. When President Mills and President Mahama came, they cancelled that. When OPP came again, and Anana Dodankwa Ekufuan and Dr. Maudu Pahun. The first thing they did, the first thing they did was to do Zongo Development Fund. Was to do what? Zongo Development Fund. You know those who live in Zongo mostly, Mutaka Muhammad. Who removed them? John Dramani. They are Muslims, so he said the Muslims cannot leave and DC. Right? Right? Then he came here and said, as for MPP, they will never choose a Northland. The leader of MPP is Dr. Mamoudou Baouya. And he's a Northland, right? And he's a Muslim, okay? And he's a Northland, right? So if you live in Larebaga, you have no alternative than to vote for Dr. Mamoudou Baouya. And who else? Abu Chaba, Abu Chirapo. I haven't finished it. I just began. I just began. I just began. I just began. Listen, 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 listen. Listen. I'm taking to half to half. Village to village. Farm to farm. Farm to farm. Room to room. Listen. When? 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 John Dramani Muhammad became the president. He brought a certain woman to parliament and showed it to the whole Ghana that, wo that woman's husband has died. And he has given that woman something as capital to start her job. And then that capital will grow and the woman will be very rich. What did he give the woman? What did he give the woman? A piglet. You know a piglet? What is pig in Ghana? I'm going to tell you what is pig? What is pig? What is pig? Roku, Roku, Roku. Roku, 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 Roku. He said, there's only that woman, a little piglet. But then, I went to investigate. And I found out that that woman was a Muslim. Would you give a pick to a Muslim? Would you give a pick to a Muslim? You see what I said? NBC doesn't like Muslims. They only use them for votes. She said, he said, he has given the woman capital. A Muslim woman. She had given, he had given the Muslim woman a piglet. He, 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 he said, I've cancelled all the other ones. If you don't have money, don't go to nursing training. If you don't have money, don't go to Chita training. Then he said, even you Muslims, eh, what I'm going to do for you when you vote for me is to put mochiri mochiri in Zongo Zongo. Go yeah. and check NDC Manifesto 2020. He said he's going to provide a mochiri for every Zongo. Yeah. Uh, are you a Muslim? Yeah. Do Muslims like dead bodies? You must just want dead bodies. So why are you going to put a mochili in the zongo? Because he doesn't like Muslims. That is why I said, if you are Muslim and you take your template and you vote close for Dr. Mahmoud Bahawiya or Abu Chirapo and you make a mistake, it is what? It is what? When your mama comes there and says, I am you. Say, I am Zah. I am you. I am you. He only wants the power for himself. He doesn't want the power to share. He doesn't want to develop it. 
He doesn't want your well-being. He doesn't think about you. No matter the sweet words he says. When he was the president, he gave a Muslim a pen. When he was the president, he gave Zogos a mochili. Do you want a mochili or you want a hospital? Do you want a mochili or you want a hospital? Do you want a mochili or a hospital? I can't hear you. Mochili or hospital? Uh, we haven't finished this. We haven't finished To employ more nurses, NDC says no. More teachers, no. More police officers, no. More prison officers, no. More immigration officers, no. No customs officers. No. Everything NDC says no. no. NDC doesn't want anybody to be employed in Ghana. Would you vote for such a party? No. Would you vote for such a party? No. Would you vote for such a party? No. So I'm telling you today, the only party that can guarantee your future, that can make sure that nursing training allowance happens, that can make sure teacher training allowance, that can make sure that when you finish nursing training school, you get what to do. But now do and Dr. Baumia are building 111 hospitals. Listen, 111 hospitals. They are going to employ 72,000 nurses. 72,000 nurses. 90% of those are going to be girls, right? Who likes girls? Who likes the future of girls? MPP or NDC? MPP! MPP or NDC? MPP! I haven't finished, bro. No. Uh, you are tired? No. Or you want to go home? No. Or you want to go home? No. Uh, in Parliament now, it's a loan from World Bank for $250 million. Do you know how we are going to use it? We are going to use it to build more hospitals, more schools, more roads, more telecommunication centers, more electricity, so that no village in Damango will be without electricity. No village in Damango will be without water. No village in Damango will be...